Thank you, Ryan. And thank you to all the early Copilot chat adopters in the audience. I'm Harold, part of the VS Code team. And I'm going to take you inside and behind the scenes of Copilot chat in my editor. Let's kick off the demo. Small apps are fun for showcasing AI. But the, in reality, we all work on large and more complicated apps. I work on VS Code, so let's contribute to its open source repo. And here's our mission. VS Code's editor background recommends some must-have shortcuts. Let's add Copilot Chat to that list as an essential tool to anybody's workflow. Which chats now, though? In a typical VS Code fashion, Copilot Chat offers a customization interface that adapts to your coding style. Let's start by having Copilot on the left, but that hides the Explorer and other views I often need. Dragging it to the right and the secondary sidebar lets me keep it always on on the big screen. I can also use Copilot Chat in the editor area for tap to win workflow on small screens. But my favorite is Quick Chat, which I get from the Command Center or Command Shift I shortcut. It provides a keyboard driven and minimal UI, keeping me in the flow. So I'll pick Quick Chat as the shortcut to recommend. And to be clear, this task won't be complicated. But often, even adding a simple feature can take hours out of your day as you try to understand the code base and figure out where things need to go. Copilot can help me do that so much quicker. So today, in Copilot Chat, I can explicitly mention at workspace to pull in relevant information from my code base. I'm going to get a rough description of what I'm looking for and watch the magic happen. Hey, let's hit the pause button, though, and delve into the nitty gritty. How does Copilot actually get my code? AI needs just the right amount and the most relevant data for a given question. Copilot Chat achieves this with a hybrid approach. First, since my repo is on GitHub, Copilot taps into GitHub's knowledge graph. A semantic search returns relevant code snippets and metadata, and we're starting to roll this out to more users and more repositories. Next, to make the search work in any workspace, we layer in a local index, which runs offline even for uncommitted files. This uses a lexical search, which means it's fast and more exact. Finally, VS Code's language intelligence is the syntactic sugar on top. It has crucial details like function signatures, parameters, and even inline documentation. All of these are ranked, sliced, and summarized for the AI, making Copilot Chat an in-depth expert of any code base. So let's back to the action. Copilot tells me the relevant code snippet that ground its answer. Grounding improves accuracy of responses, but also makes them verifiable with links. After Copilot sifts through the code, it suggests starting in the watermark editor. That's what I've been looking for. Let's dive in. With the file open, Copilot can now help me make a plan. By default, it focuses on the current file. But I could also explicitly reference other files. There's another improvement at play here that is harder to show. And I can't have an AI demo without mentioning the word. So since recently, GPT-4 is used in all chat conversations. We still use other models, like GPT-3.5 Turbo, as its speed complements GPT-4's intelligence. This multi-model approach is informed by continuous experimentation to give you the cutting-edge AI with the feel of a lightweight, responsive tool. So back to my watermark file. I've got a rough plan of what to add where. I could do this manually, but let's have Copilot do it for me with inline chat. Hit Command or Control I, and based on what I ask it, it now pulls in symbol definitions surrounding code, related files, and more. The diff view is fully interactive with linting, hovers, and rich autocomplete. 
And since we added inline chat nine months ago, its fan base has been steadily growing. Developers love iterating with AI directly in their code. So much so that since September, our early adopters have used Copilot chat more often inline than in the sidebar. Staying flow is key. Talking about flow, who here spends hours crafting perfect prompts for the AI just to get help? Yes, flow these days is also about avoiding long wind and prompt crafting and code responses buried in long AI responses. Copilot has commands to solve that. To demo my favorite command, fix, I need some red squiggles. Let's rewind and say I had attempted to write a new entry myself and got the types wrong. In any chat input here with inline, hitting slash gives me a list of commands. These are shorthand for chores and even longer workflows. Allison demoed some of them, so let me close this and show you an even faster way. Fix is just a click away on every red squiggle. Open the code actions menu or hit command dot. And fix is not just a well-tuned prompt. It pulls in related problems like linting errors, looks up code from stack traces. It retries if the AI missed errors on its first pass. It's a lot of power behind one command. Not surprisingly, fix is Copilot's most used action. So let's see how our change looks. I'll run VS Code from source. And here is our new favorite shortcut. It's a good time to commit with Copilot coming along. Check out that magical Copilot button. One click, and I have my message ready. I save time and can go right back to coding. As I add it to this file, I do want to leave it a little cleaner. So I commit, and this time, I'm controlling inline chat using my voice. Hit the microphone button or assign it a shortcut. Manage entries as collection of key value pairs. Sweet. Real-time preview looks stunning and, more importantly, gives me time to double-check Copilot's approach. So let's iterate with a follow-up. Rewrite entries to be alphabetically sorted. Clean up like that would have taken me several minutes. With Copilot chat, it's done in a few seconds without typing. And back to committing. As you might notice, you will probably commit more often, even without thinking about it. But why stop making commits easier? Copilot knows about my code and what I've changed. It even drafts a PR title and description for me. And that is the real power of AI in your editor, removing that tedious, busy work we all must do. Attacks on productivity that we no longer have to pay. And when I get that review with a suggested change, Copilot can address that too. Even though AI suggestions are just a click away, I'm still in charge of reviewing and iterating with Copilot. And there are many more smart actions, saving you time in all areas of VS Code when Copilot is installed. In a terminal, Copilot chat suggests commands. In Jupyter Notebooks, it fixes runtime errors. It even powers a smarter search in command palette and settings. Customization, extensibility, and accessibility are what VS Code users love, and AI is part of it. So this was my behind the scenes of three major updates. How Copilot Chat gains expert knowledge of any code base, how GPT-4 is one of multiple models it picks from, and how Copilot infuses AI in every aspect of your developer workflow. All of that, everything, is available today in VS Code's Copilot Chat. All of these you will also find in Visual Studio, and JetBrains is ready for you to preview via waitlist. Thank you and happy smarter coding.